Hello LEGO fans, Beatrice Bricks here today. I'm going to be showing you guys um, my custom LEGO store. Um, now this is a lot like the one that you can get um, if the if a LEGO store opens up. I didn't want to copy anything and I didn't look at a picture or anything. It just came came from my mind or whatever. So the windows are, are basically almost exact to the one you get if a new store opens. So let's get right to it. The roof. I am missing a door and I said in my previous video uh, on my review on my uh, custom bookstore I did say that I ordered some new doors so I will be getting those in very soon and once I do I will post a picture of that on Instagram or whatever. So the roof isn't actually connected or anything it's just I ran out of plates or whatever. So I had to use just the smooth thing. I tiled the roof off just to make it not really lock in place. Uh, it's just sitting there. And if I don't like, bump it or anything, this won't fall off. So, But I did also tile the corner off like that because it is going to be um, kind of, it's going to be next to my bookstore. So uh, I'll show you when I'm done what that's going to look like, but basically, get me out of the way. So, inside, you have the pick a brick wall back here, then you have sets aligning the wall, and then you have the little display case, then you have a different looking window, and that's um, where you can put your setup to it, and it shows it in 3D form. And you have your, uh, your big brick. It's always in the Lego stores. And then you have the lame, very, very lame, sad looking build a minifig station or whatever you call it. Um, it's pretty sad, but I didn't really have enough pieces to build a bigger one. So yeah, it's quite, quite sad. I did tile this place up, so I think that turned out pretty nice. We've got some more sets lining the wall, another display case, and of course the checkout area. One of two cash registers, because in my Lego store I have two cash registers. Um, and I wanted to put that in there, but I just didn't have enough room, because the people couldn't fit to get back to the pick a brick wall. And I also wanted to add a little storage area back here to, like, um, so they go back in the closet or wherever, uh, but I didn't have enough room for that. You can also see this from this angle. And this little piece, this little white piece up here is where you can put, like, your sets to set them on there or whatever. So, basically, that's my Lego store. I did want to put it all in black, <clears throat> sorry, I wanted to put it all in black, but I couldn't because I didn't have enough black pieces, so I just had to go with yellow. It doesn't look too bad, but it kind of looks like a just plain Lego store. So that is about it. Um, so, yes. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, um... I will show you what this looks like um, in my Lego city. I will not be doing a um, city update on this, so I will uh, stop the video so I can put this in my city, and I'll be right back. There you have it. That is my Lego store and bookstore together over by the train station mock. I think that corner building really turned out, turned out, sorry, with the sidebar. I really like how that looks. And then you got the Lego store over there. I still have to add the stickers, by the way, on it. But and also, I might do a sign. I don't, I don't know if I will or not. But that is basically it. You can also see that they are different sizes. The bookstore is higher, and the Lego store is lower. But that is about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
I don't want to do anything right now with the back of the buildings. I don't know what I'm going to do back there, but that is about it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Beatrice Bricks. Bye! Oh